Hello, if you are interested in doing a virtual choir video or a virtual ensemble video or anything like that, I'm gonna show you a little bit of how to do that, um, at least how I'm gonna do it with my kids. Um, so if you'd like to do that, follow along. I'm gonna share my screen with you. I've created a little bit of a hyperdoc on Google Docs to uh, show kids how to do virtual choir. So this is the hyperdoc that I'm gonna share out to my choir kids. Um, and I'll put this in the comment section below. Um, but basically it says, what is virtual choir? While we are practicing social distancing, there's a unique way for our Nixa Intermediate Choir students to create beautiful music together. I'm gonna share this again. You can make a copy of it and you can uh, create your own doc. But basically I put a link to Eric Whitaker's um, you know, virtual choir video. Obviously it's gonna be nothing like Eric Whitaker's video because his is incredible and ours will not be as incredible. But yeah, they can at least get an idea of what it is by clicking on that. Whoops, I just stopped sharing, I didn't mean to. I'll share again my screen. And then, uh, you want to have your students obviously learn the music. So uh, the song that we're doing is Sisi Nimoya by um, Jacob, Jacob Navarud. And I don't know how to pronounce his last name. If, you're, if you see this, Jacob, I apologize. Um, but I got permission from him to do this piece and create a virtual choir um, video of it. And so I had already created rehearsal tracks for my students back in at the beginning of the semester so i linked those different rehearsal tracks here um, from my google drive and then we're actually doing a combined video with all of the intermediate buildings in our district so how are you going to record your video before we worry about how to film your video you need to have headphones so make sure your students have headphones because the only audio we want to hear in the video uh, that they submit is their voice so you will listen to a specific track link below while you're recording your video, but we don't want to hear the audio from the video, we just want to hear you. If the headphones have a built-in microphone like this, it's even better. Um, you have a couple options when it comes to filming. Option one, which is preferred, especially if they have Chromebooks, uh, and if you have a Wii Video account, is filming on Wii Video. So I have a video uh, that shows exactly how to do that. I'm not gonna show it to you right now, but I'll put this doc in the comment section below. You can watch that um, so they can film on Wii Video. And then uh, the way, uh, yeah, I go over all of it in there. And then option two is to film on their phone. So especially if you have high school students or junior high students or some intermediate students, they might have a phone and they can film it horizontally, of course. And I go over exactly how to properly film in that video right there. So you can click on that. And then it is time to film. So there's a video that shows them exactly how to film. Uh, so I prepared three different tracks. One for part one, I teach fifth and sixth grade music. So there's only two parts in the song until the desk can't at the end. Uh, so I created a video for part one. And basically this video, uh, it has their music on it but it also has uh, me singing along in the accompaniment track. You want to make sure that you have a track that is gonna be the same for each and every student that makes this video because then it, if you don't have the same track for every kid, it's obviously not gonna line up. So I created a video in Wii Video um, by adding, this is the CC Nimoya um, accompaniment track. So I had the accompaniment track and then I took my PDF of the song. I just took different screenshots of the music and just put them in here and made little cuts here and there. So at the beginning, you know, if you want to fade it in, that's great. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Oh wait, I pressed the wrong space bar. <laughs> time if you hit the space bar it stops right where you want it and if you hit the letter s it makes a cut so i can then delete this and put in the next part and kind of extend it out and 
And then the next part, I hit S again and delete. And I put in the third part. So you just kind of keep doing that. You have screenshots of the PDF. Um, that's one way to do it. If you have another way to do it, that's great. There are many different ways to do that, but that's the way I did it. And so the final video, I then had headphones in while listening to uh, that video and I recorded on my phone just in the voice memo app, me singing along. And then I put all of that into Wii video and lined, lined it up, I hit stop share again. I lined it up in Wii video uh, to where it then became me singing along with it. So here's that video. <laughs> So I sing their entire part the entire time throughout the whole song and they are going to be watching this on their screen and listening to me singing because I have elementary kids. Some of them need me singing in their ear for them to get uh, the right pitches because um, I want everybody that wants to be in this video to be involved. So uh, again, I took screenshots of the PDF of the music by scanning the PDF first. Actually, this is uh, my good friend Taylor Schaefer's uh, handwriting on this. And I scanned the PDF and took screenshots of everything. And I then uh, placed that in Wii Video with the accompaniment track, which I got the accompaniment track on pianotracks.com. So you can search for a song or an artist or composer and try to find different things. If they don't have the track, you know, you can try to find it somewhere else or you can request them to make the track for a little bit of money. But I paid like six bucks for this. Uh, accompaniment track here and it even has a little djembe on there so that's fun um, but again I then recorded myself singing the different parts and I put those in below down here if you need to add an audio track in we video you click the plus button click audio you can even name it you know sopranos boom and then you put it down in there um, let's see, the next part of the video is after they've recorded the video, they turn in their video to you. If you have Canvas, you can have them upload it to you, but I also, uh, you know, in Wii Video, once you hit finish over here, once you hit finish over here, you can't really see it very well, finish, uh, it, it can save directly to their Google Drive and they can just share it with you. And I go over that in one of the links on the HyperDoc. Again, I'm trying to go kind of fast through this so that way I can get to the editing portion because all the other explanations are in this doc for you. Uh, and obviously, I'm, I'm making this video in Zoom by just hitting the record button down in the bottom. You can do that as well to make little tutorial videos for your kids. So to turn in the video, you can watch that video to see how to turn it in. But once they have it all turned in, that's where it gets fun. I'm gonna keep the accompaniment track down here. And then I pretended like I was a kid and I played that video and I'm gonna name myself Blake One. And you can you know, name your different kids obviously by their actual names. So I'm going to, uh, well, actually, I'm going to look at the audio of this, and I am going to only listen to the audio of the camera first. So I turned down the accompaniment track on here, and I'm not listening to the accompaniment track. I just want to hear the kid who's singing here, which is actually me. We all love. So on laugh. I hit the pause button. I'm gonna hit the S button to split it. I'm gonna, for right now, delete this. And then I'm going to just move this kind of out of the way. I'm then going to turn this back up. And right when the choir is supposed to sing laugh, I'm gonna hit the pause button again, and then I'll line this up. Pause. 
world. And so that is laugh. I'm gonna hit the S button. We're gonna see if this lines up well at all. So let's see what happens here. And you can fade in their audio if you're like, uh, they started talking or something. You can fade in by creating two different points there and kind of fade it in or, you know, even, oh yeah, we can just do it like that. So it's a little bit off, so I'm just gonna uh, kind of zoom in a little bit here. Zoom it on in, and I'm gonna just move it back just a hair. If it'll let me, my goodness. Well, it might be better to, to do it a little bit later in the song anyway. Off, we all cry. So on the word cry, let's try it there. Let's line it up with the word cry. And you can pause this tutorial video and go back to it at any time. Um, let's go over here. So I pause it right on cry, I hit the cut button, and I am going to then line this up, have it snap, and then get rid of this again. Move this up as far as it can. And create a point here, and maybe a point here. To where that's all the way down. The volume's all the way down, it fades in right there. Let's try this. Be nice if I could hear it though. Now it's all lined up. Yes, I know, I'm singing like a girl. It's fine. Um, and then if I want to move it to a different spot, because virtual choirs, they're a lot smaller. So what I did is I double clicked on the video, double clicked on it, and then you can hit scale, and you can move it to whatever spot you want. Let's do point three. You can even type it in as well. Now I'm going to click on show grid and snap. But usually the first one that you're gonna have, you're going to put it in X zero, Y zero. And so it's gonna be up in the total left-hand corner. So let's say I want it even smaller because I have a lot of kids. Still gonna put X zero, Y zero, and then maybe snap it to that line or something like that. Okay, so that's my first video. I'm gonna save changes. Then I wanna add another kid. Well, guess what? I have another kid right here. I'm going to mute this kid's audio. I'm gonna mute the accompaniment track. Then I am going to scroll up a little bit. Just look at the audio of this kid. And we'll press play down here. We all laugh, we all cry. So right on cry again, I'm going to split it there. I'm gonna line it back up with cry down here. So you wanna keep that cut down in the accompaniment track. I'm gonna spring dish over here and then do the same kind of thing that we did the last one. And if a kid, you know, isn't singing their best, you can kind of bring it down a little bit farther if you want. And if you don't want to see the video audio, phew, I think you can, I think you just, well, I guess once you open it up, you have to see it. There's probably a way to get rid of it. I don't use Wii Video that often, um, but I'm trying to think of different things that you guys can easily do. So then I want to make sure that he's lined up with everybody else. I'm gonna move this back up. We we all and he's not lined up with everybody else. So we're gonna zoom this back in. 
We're gonna move it back. And it, you can kind of see the audio files lined up there. You can try to line them up. I don't know why it won't let me move it. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna take it. Maybe that's why. Still not wanting me to move it. Well, it'll let me cut it. So I'm gonna try cutting it on Cry again and see if it'll work this time. We all laugh. We all cry. We're gonna get it on Cry again. And WeVideo is not the best program for this, um, but it's free for educators right now. So that's why I'm using it. So let's do all this stuff again. Now I'll see if it's lined up. We all love. That's a lot better. Um, your kids aren't gonna sing it perfectly and that's okay. So you wanna make sure that you're at the same scale as the other one. So that's 0.14. So I'm gonna double click on this and do 0.14, enter. And then we'll show the grid and we'll snap it. And we'll move it up here. Boom, there it is, save changes. Now I've got two people up there. So you just keep adding and adding and to add more video tracks, you add a video track. You can name the person, add it. I'm gonna add, add, boom. You can just keep adding. And I've gotten up to, you know, I don't know what the limit is, but yesterday I tried it and I got up to like 52 or so. So that's uh, a little bit of how to make your virtual choir and move it around and line up the audio tracks. Uh, that was a rough demonstration because I don't use Wii Video that often. I'll be editing my virtual choir on my video software, but I know a lot of people use Wii Video and they have access to it. Um, so that is how I would do it. And then you hit finish once you're totally done and you can save the video. But once again, I give a lot of those instructions in these videos on the HyperDoc. So, if you have any questions about different steps along the way or things in the HyperDoc or something that I didn't go over or you know my the mess of an audio or the mess of the editing process that just happened uh, let me know and I can try to help you out as much as I can um, and you can message me on Facebook or email me it's up to you so let me know if you have any questions and have fun tackling this it's it's a lot of work but uh, right now we all have a lot of time on our hands and our kids deserve it. So if you want to do it, go for it. Bye guys.